Exodus chapter 16. And they took their journey from Elim, and all the congregation of the children of Israel came to the wilderness of Sin, which is between Elim and Sinai. On the fifteenth day of the second month, after their departing out of the land of Mizraim, and the whole congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moshe and against Ahron in the wilderness. And the children of Israel said to them, Would that we had died by the hand of Yahweh in the land of Mizraim, when we sat by the flesh pots, when we did eat bread to the full, for ye have brought us forth into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. Then said Yahweh to Moshe, Behold, I will rain bread from skies for you, and the people shall go out and gather a day's portion every day, that I may prove them whether they will walk in my law or not. And it shall be on the sixth day that they shall prepare that which they bring in, it shall, and it shall be twice as much as they gather daily. And Moshe and Ahron said to all the children of Israel, At evening, then ye shall know that Yahweh hath brought you out from the land of Mizraim, and in the morning, then ye shall see the glory of Yahweh, for that, ye, for that he heareth your murmurings against Yahweh. And what are we that ye murmur against us? And Moshe said, This shall be when Yahweh shall give you in the evening flesh to eat, and in the morning bread to the full, for that Yahweh heareth your murmurings, which ye murmur against him. And what are we? Your murmurings are not against us, but against Yahweh. And Moshe said to Ahron, Say to all the congregation of the children of Israel, Come near before Yahweh. For he hath heard your murmurings. And it was as Ahron spoke to the whole congregation of the children of Israel that they looked toward the wilderness, and behold, the glory of Yahweh appeared in the cloud. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel. Speak to them, saying, At even ye shall eat flesh, and in the morning Ye shall be filled with bread, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh your God. And it was at even that the quails came up and covered the camp, and in the morning the dew lay round about the camp. And when the dew that lay was gone up, behold, upon the face of the wilderness a small round thing, small as the hoarfrost on the ground. And when the children of Israel saw it, they said one to another, Man who? What is it? For they knew not what it was. And Moshe said to them, It is the bread which Yahweh hath given you to eat. This is the thing which Yahweh hath commanded. Gather ye of it every man according to his eating, and Romer ahead. According to the number of your souls shall ye take it every man for them that are in his tent. And the children of Israel did so, and gathered some more, some less. And when they measured it with an romer, he that had gathered much had nothing over, and he that gathered little had no lack. They gathered every man according to his eating. And Moshe said to them, Let no man leave of it till the morning, Notwithstanding, they hearkened not to Moshe. But some of them left, it, left of it until the morning, and it bred worms and became foul. And Moshe was wroth with them, and they gathered it morning by morning, every man according to his eating. And when the sun became hot, it melted. And it was that on the sixth day they gathered twice as much bread, two romers for each one, and all the rulers of the congregation came and told Moshe, and he said to them, This is that which Yahweh hath spoken. Tomorrow is a Shabbat on, a holy Shabbat to Yahweh. 
bake that which ye will bake, and boil that which ye will boil. And all the remaining, all that remaineth over, lay up for you to be kept until the morning. And they laid it up until the morning, as Moshe bade, and it did not become foul, neither was there any worm therein. And Moshe said, Eat that today. For today is a Shabbat to Yahweh. Today ye shall not find it in the field. Six days shall ye gather it, but on the seventh day is the Shabbat. In it there shall be none. And it was on the seventh day that there went out some of the people to gather, and they found none. And Yahweh said to Moshe, How long refuse ye to keep my commands and my laws? See, for that Yahweh hath given you the Shabbat. Therefore he giveth you on the sixth day the bread of two days. Abide ye every man in his place. Let no man go out of his place on the seventh day. So the people rested on the seventh day. And the house of Yisrael called the name thereof Manah. And it was like coriander seed, white, and the taste of it was like wafers made with honey. And Moshe said, This is the thing which Yahweh hath commanded. Let an romer full of it be kept throughout your generations, that they see the bread wherewith I fed you in the wilderness, when I brought you forth from the land of Mizraim. And Moshe said to Aharon, Take a pot and put an romer full of manna therein, and lay it up before Yahweh to be kept throughout your generations. As Yahweh commanded Moshe, so Aharon laid it up before the testimony to be kept. And the children of Yisrael did eat the manna forty years, until they came to a land inhabited, and they did eat the manna until they came to the borders of the land of Canaan. Now an Romer is the tenth part of an Efar.